What's up everybody? I'm Logan and this is Whirly Reviews, the YouTube channel where I geek out and talk shit. And today I'm going to be talking about Willy's Wonderland. So Willy's Wonderland is a new horror movie that stars Nicolas Cage and it's very much like Five Nights at Freddy's. The plot of the movie is pretty simple. Nicolas Cage's car gets flat tires running over a spike strip in this middle of nowhere town. And this guy tells him, I'll get your car fixed and pay for it all if you spend the night at this Chuck E. Cheese type place cleaning it up. And of course, as always, here's the spoiler warning because I am definitely going to be getting into some spoilers on this one. But yeah, Nick Cage does not talk in this movie. He does not say a single word the whole time. In fact, that's apparently what attracted him to this movie because he thought it'd be interesting playing a guy that doesn't speak. When he takes his little breaks from cleaning and just goes to the kitchen, grabs him a can of punch. Still don't know if that's an energy drink, a soda, a juice, or what. And he sits back, he drinks one, he plays some pinball, his little alarm goes off on his watch, and it's back to cleaning until he has to kill another animatronic. And once he's done killing that animatronic, he cleans it all up and gets back to cleaning until his watch goes off again, and then it's break time again, so more punch and pinball. And, of course, you can't have a full movie of just Nick Cage cleaning up this place and killing these animatronics as they try to kill him. So you got the normal group of teens coming in. They want to burn down the place, but they don't want to burn it down until he's out of the building and everything. So they go in to try to get him out. But he shook hands on the deal that he was going to stay all night and clean it. And damn it, that's what he's going to do. Of course, the teens are your classic cliche horror teens. You got the final girl. You got the love interest. You got the slut. You got the geeky guy. You got the douchebag. And you got the jock. And all of them get slaughtered except for the final girl. Also, I'm a single parent and I have a decent sized house. Nothing fancy. And I had to schedule vacation days to clean this whole thing. So there is no fucking way in hell, Nick Cage or not, you're going to clean this entire building and make it spotless like he does by the end of the movie. The first animatronic that he fights is Ozzy Ostrich. And it was pretty tense whenever he walks up to him and he's standing still and Nick Cage like kind of hits him with the broom or the mop a couple times. I'm gonna face down your face! When he said that and just seeing the CGI, I was kind of hooked. I was like, yes, okay, this is exactly what I was expecting. Blood is flying everywhere, but it's animatronic, so I guess it's kind of oil. The fights get really brutal in some of them. And of course, it's very gory. In fact, right now, I'm just going to say I'll give the gore 7 out of 10. Throughout the movie, you know, the teenagers are getting picked off one by one. There's some other characters that get killed in the process. They're pretty good deaths. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the deaths. There's a few you don't see on camera. It happens off camera. But favorite kills in the movie, as far as like the animatronics go, Gus the gorilla. I'm going to eat your eyes out and then feast on your soul. <laughs> His death was the best one. Nick Cage just beats the shit out of him in the bathroom and ends up curb stomping his head into the urinal. That's quality entertainment. And as far as the humans go, the sheriff, whenever she got killed by Willie, it's very unexpected, but I kind of figured it was going to happen. But I didn't expect it to happen where Willie just slashes her and cuts her in half. But the bitch did have it coming. The whole town is in on trapping strangers in this building to feed Willie and his animatronic friends. And they give you a little bit of backstory towards the end of the movie. Willie's was ran by a child murderer and molester who strangely hired other child molesters and murderers to work for him. And of course people started going missing and everything. And before the cops could get to them they all end up doing a ritual satanic suicide where their souls come back into the animatronics. So like child's play meets Chuck E. Cheese basically. And out of all the animatronics, Siren Sarah is by far the creepiest. If you have a doll phobia, she's going to scare the shit out of you most likely. And also two of the characters, while they're in the Willy's Wonderland, they decide to go to the room where the employees did the satanic suicide ritual. And they decide to have sex in that room while everybody's getting killed. They know what happened in the room. They acknowledge it. 
They know these animatronics are about to start killing them all if they don't get the fuck out. But I guess sometimes you just need to bust a nut. I also wish the animatronics would have gotten out of the building and wreaked havoc on the town. If they do another one, I would like to see the backstory with the whole satanic ritual suicide and whenever they first came back as the animatronics and started killing people when it first reopened. But Willie's is definitely fucking amazing. I think I watched it three times over the weekend. So I'm definitely going to give it a rewatch level 8 out of 10. For a movie to make me want to watch it three times in one weekend when I had other movies to watch and I was shooting videos and editing, that says something about the movie. I believe it has an April release date for Blu-ray and I will definitely be owning a copy of this. I'm hoping for some special features and everything. Like, I want to see some behind the scenes on this movie. But that's it. And if you would, hit that like button, drop a comment down in the comment section, share on social media, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos I got coming. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.